Good morning. Happy Wednesday, my friends. I got notified that I started. Oh, it's funny. I get notified on on my other accounts that I did this. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Helen. Good morning, Ellen. How are you? So, I'm ready to paint. Is anybody painting along with me this morning? Good morning. Um, so, oh, let me get my iPad. <clears throat> I was getting a quick little extra charge on my iPad this morning because I was working on it and it loses its power so quickly. Hi, Tina. How are you? So, good morning, Irma. Okay, let me turn this around because you know I hate being on camera. <laughs> okay. I'll put my iPad up here and show you what <clears throat> what I was thinking about. So, what are these flowers called? I can't remember what they are. They are, they're everywhere. Right? They're not a rose or a peony. It's oh so wrong. It's a tree. Well, somebody will tell me these. I love them. They are everywhere right now. <clears throat> and, of course, I took a gazillion photos and I can't decide which one to paint. So let me show you the choices. But they're all of the same flower. And I wondered why I was having so much trouble figuring out what I wanted to do. <coughs> and I think it's because <coughs> like in some of the situations, Oh, isn't that pretty? Should I do that? It's so complicated. And or that. But I was playing around. I love the co the color, this like kind of olivey color. Maybe I should do that one. It's um oh, is it a flowering plum? Is that what it is? Let me see if it tells me now on this. Oh, Japanese flowering cherry, it says. Like how gorgeous. Um when I went on my walk yesterday, they just kept you think I should do this one? It is a little complicated, but I love that that weird green. I was trying to look up. No, wait, let me see. Where are more of them? Oh, I'm in my favorites. That's why I'm not seeing them all. Just to show you my craziness of... I think maybe that one. I don't know. But that's pretty, too. I, I love that, whatever that color of green is. Um... Oh, and then I found this really pretty um, lilac bush. <laughs> half the time I'm walking and half the time I'm looking at things to paint, right? So I looked at this because, <clears throat> who said that? I, was some, I took some on my walk yesterday. They're beautiful. Maybe I'll do this one. I love, I love the softness of it. I'll just add a little bit of that green in if I can figure it out. Is it this one? It's this one. It does have a, just a hint of that color in the background. And what I did, <clears throat> Tina likes the one with the sky and the green. You like this, which one? Well, that's pretty too. That's got a little bit of sky. That's got a neat glow going on in here. And that, that green's just wicked crazy, isn't it? I don't even know if I can mix that color. Should I do that one? That one, or one, two, or three. It's like when you're picking your glasses, <laughs> the strength of your glasses of the pops of blue. Maybe I'll do that one since it does have that fun, we'll have fun mixing that color. Okay, and I love that little bit of glow. Let's see what happens. One, one, one. Oh, I'm getting lots of ones. That one with all the blue <clears throat> ones and threes Carol Ann says three Jennifer says <laughs> I shouldn't have asked right one two three four threes I have four threes one two three ones four threes the sky seems to make everything pop and more cohesive three is that three or one three well I could do one this week and one next week too. <clears throat> so I had taken 
I do it in here? I was making them black and white just to look at them. <clears throat> because one of the hard things about something that's got so much going on, well, at least I know, yeah, I'll do the other one next time. Good morning, Emily. I'll do the other one next time. Um, like you don't want your painting to be mostly dark, mostly light, or 50-50. You want it like a, a, a balance. And so I was playing around with looking at it in black and white. Um, and you see how it is a little bit kind of 50-50. So I have to pay attention to keeping my lightest lights light so that it... Oops, now I got rid of it. <laughs> oh, here it is. That's it. Okay, never mind. That one. Good morning, Em. Okay, here we go. Oh, well, I'm going to mix colors first. My palette's a little bit messy because <coughs> I was painting some <clears throat> paintings yesterday. They're behind me here. <clears throat> and I had big piles of color left over, and I just couldn't bring myself to throw them away. So they're here on my palette. But I need to mix some fun olive kind of greens. Oh, I think I have an olive green I can play with. Pops of blue and lots of pinks. Is this the one? This isn't the one you guys even wanted me to paint, is it? Oh, my goodness. This is the one I wanted to paint, I think. One, that's three. I don't even know where they went now. They're my favorites. Oh, yeah. One. Oh, that's pretty, too. Oh, I love them all. I'm just going to do this one. Um, You don't care, right? Where did I put it? Is this it? Yeah. I think it's black and white when you need to change back to color. <laughs> Is this not it, Laura? Is that what I did? That one. <clears throat> Gosh, can you tell I did not sleep well last night? Ooh, that one. Okay, that's one we're going to do because it does. Yeah, they're all pretty, right? That's the problem. They're all pretty, and I'm getting them confused now. But this one, we can mix some greens and blues and somehow keep it simple because I like keeping it simple and sometimes more complicated it is. Not sometimes, always. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Let's mix colors. Here's my messy palette with <clears throat> some fun colors that aren't necessarily part of what I'm doing, but I could use them as things to lighten. But that doesn't give me a lot of space over here, so I'll just have to be smart about what I'm doing. Oh, and I need a sip of my coffee. Unfortunately, I got up so early, I don't have much left. This might be a two-pot day. Okay, so I was going to take raw... Now wait, what color did I have? Now you know I'm already going to forget what I was doing. Not, not that. <clears throat> raw, raw umber, which is this. And mix it with some sap green. Let's see what this does. I've never made a color like that. Well, that's a nice lovely dark and I'm not liking this palette knife so let me clean this off and put it away oh it's got look it's filthy <laughs> no wonder I don't like it it feels stiff and then I'm going to keep that same raw umber and sap green and I'm going to add in some of this this is sienna something I'm learning my my browns I'm trying to embrace my browns and um something when I do it and want to do an inspiring art I keep saying we're going to do it and I keep not getting around to it now that's going in the right direction now what do you think I did with that color right here it's not yellow ochre there's so many browns to learn it's like I feel like I have to learn well let's use a little of this yellow ochre I'm going to keep that out so I don't forget what I'm doing ha ha you know I will It's like an, a fun olivey green. Ooh, that's really pretty. Now I've got to brighten it, so I'll keep some of that. Take the rest of this. All oh, those wonderful, because I know I have quite a collection now. I didn't realize. <clears throat> my friend Beth gave me a few, and so it like really extended my 
collection. Lucky me. Um, maybe I'm, I'm going to put, this is, I should always put my tubes of paint up here so I don't forget what I'm doing. This is, um, this is this tube. This is cadmium yellow. Yep, that's what we're going for. Isn't that pretty? Wow. That's kind of right on. Get it all off my knife. I don't want to waste any. Really pretty greens. Wow. All right, let me clean this little area up and mix. I'll do my blue. That blue, I always have a little trouble with sky blue. I want to paint, um, play around with some landscapes. Maybe we'll work on that next. But I did this. I love this Michael Harding King's Blue. I think that might be pretty close to what we're aiming for there. Um, so I'll take a King's Blue and a little bit of, this is Manganese Blue Hue. It's for dabs of, that's close. It could go a little lighter. So maybe I'm gonna put a little bit of radiant blue in there. That's this color. What do you think? So where's everybody listening from today? Oh, that's, that's good. That's really nice. Nice, vibrant. Blue. Now I have to decide what color I want to put in my background. If I want to go true to color, probably. I probably don't want to do, well, I don't know. I could do all pink. I could do the whole thing pink and then go over top. <clears throat> Anything is possible, right? South Carolina, New Hampshire, Charleston, Lake Worth, Florida, Chicago, Illinois. Helen's in Ontario, Katie, Texas, Michigan. I definitely want to keep that glow of pink that we have in there. <clears throat> Columbus, Ohio. So I want to neutralize this, and I wish that I had a gray out here, and I don't. I'm just going to put some gray out just to keep it easy. Indonesia. What time is it in Ind Indonesia? Snow, what'd you say? Snowy Central Alberta. Snowy, oh my gosh. Southampton, New York. In Brazil. Wow, so cool. Now that's nice, but I have to go lighter. I might just add a little of this that I have down here, this pink. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's a nice neutralized pink. That's exactly what I was looking for. A grayish, purplish, pinkish color. Massachusetts. Make that a little darker. Little darker. I have to go lighter. So I'm going to use my permanent rose that I love. And then I just put a touch of gray in that. Oh, it's pink. That's nice. Permanent rose. I'm going to add. So there's a lot of lighter grayish pinkish that's in shadow. So I am going to add, maybe I'll add this radiant blue into it and see what we get. Let's see if that looks. Um, I think I need a little gray too. These flowers are a little tricky because what looks like a light color is actually pretty dark. This this is a weird mix from yesterday. 
It's good if you have paints left over, if you can hold on to them like this and end up using them in something in your palette the next day. But usually by like two days, they'll start to... Um, <clears throat> Do I want to add white in there? Um, maybe... Let me find my... I'm going to use my rosebud. My, I love this color. Vasari rosebud. my lid on. <clears throat> Sorry. That's close. Let me put the rest of the rosebud in. I might need more of that. Because it really is, it's, it's a lighter color, but it's still completely desaturated. And then I'll make a saturated version. So desaturated means that it doesn't have a lot of like vibrancy of color. It's subdued. That's better. Let me mix these two. And then we'll mix saturated. That's pretty close. I could add just a smidge of One more smidge. Lots of smidges. I work in smidges. Okay. Yeah, I needed all those smidges or it would have looked just like the other color. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this. And lots of white. That's really nice. And then I need more white. <clears throat> I never have enough white paint. I need to start buying white paint in a big tube because I'm constantly running out of it. Maybe I need white with a touch of blue. No, I don't know if I do. Looks good. Back up there in case I go for that later. All right, so I think that's good. I think we have most of the colors that we need. Keep it simple. Is it titanium white, Irma? Yeah, yeah. It's it was Michael Harding's titanium white one. I do like that white. Not all titanium whites are created equal but it also depends on what you want out of your white whether you want it to be smooth and creamy or whether you want it to be like a cooler white or a warmer white okay so should I just do pink pink and blue I'm trying to think of what transparent color I want in my background um, if I make it pink the pink's going to show through that green so I think I'm going to use my transparent this yellow green that I have pinks and a little bit of blue I think that we will be good let's just do it that way so I'm gonna do the greens first <clears throat> I think that's good, good. I'm glad you liked my choice. You just gotta make decisions and stick with them so you don't get lost in doubting. I always say half the battle of painting is keeping your confidence all the way through the process. It's hard to do. Good morning, Susie. How are you? I need almost my last sip of coffee. Everybody having coffee or tea today? No, saying I think I'm gonna have a two. I always say that, but then I never go make another pot of coffee because I move into the next part of my day. Let's go, 
Oops, here. I want to keep that glow in there. Just following the, the path. <clears throat> Keep this pretty much solid. Oh. We have these cute little buds down here. I love these. Not have them. <clears throat> Good morning. Okay, that's pretty fun. All right, let me do a little bit of blue just for pops in there. For pops of blueness. Bring my pink over there a little bit. Thalo blue and white or video blue pale are my favorite sky. Oh, thalo blue and white would be pretty. <clears throat> That's a fun idea. Yeah, I was saying I really want to work on painting more landscapes for fun and for practice. I also want a plein air paint. I say that every spring, and do you think I've made it outside to paint yet? I did get busy, though, because I need, I need more art for my art shows, so that's been consuming me lately. See, this pink goes up here just a little bit. I didn't do that. And in shadow here. Huh, <clears throat> I could do a little bit of a dark green, just so I remember where that is. I don't need a lot. So what do we say this is? It's a cherry tree. No, now I already forget. And I know they only like bloom right at the beginning of the spring, like pretty soon they'll be turning into something different. Today is not going to be a good day for a walk. It's supposed to rain. <coughs> All right, that's good enough. I don't need to fuss with that anymore. Um, I'm going to do some pigment sticks because it's always fun. All about fun. Japanese cherry, thank you. Japanese cherry. I wonder if cherries actually grow on it. Never had a Japanese cherry, or if it's just ornament, ornamental, is that the right word? Hmm. <clears throat> ornamental, maybe. I'm trying to like this pink that I I was using this um, with Inspiring Art. We played with pigment sticks. 
Oh, which color? I, the Provence blue. This red is like a rose color, but it's wonky. I'm not crazy about it. Wouldn't suggest it. But I have been using it lately. But it's very um, thick, like it leaves lumps on there that I gotta clean up. I really should put it away. Sometimes I'm a creature of just, if I have stuff laying around, I'll use it even though maybe I shouldn't. Do you ever do that? Especially with art supplies. Little pops of this. What other colors? Oh, I do have this other new color. It's um, Quinacridone Magenta Light. Yeah, well, just a little bit. I almost bought the pigment sticks. Oh, which all of them? There's the Provence Blue is nice. And you also have it, yeah, that really pops. Yeah, I love them. This is nice for that kind of shadowy area. All right, that's good enough. You don't need any more. Put that away, get my hand off, and I win. <clears throat> pink, I love pink too. At Blix, yeah, I have my favorite ones listed. I have like a set up a Amazon page, like cart or whatever it's called, Amazon shop that has all my favorite colors are on there. So if you want to, there's a link in my bio here if you want to go check that out you can just to see what what my favorite colors are and I would say I got I got the mountain did with inspiring art and I still like the same colors like my favorites didn't really change now I usually go um, you know more dark to light I bought the dye finest pink not spell yes. Oh, do you like it? I don't know if I have that color. I probably do. I do have a lot of them. Let me do some of my dark pinks. Um, I need a little bit more of my magenta out here. Not sure if I made, you know, that's what's hard. My like darkest darks in my pink areas are not really all that dark. So it gives me less like of a value shift to be able to make things look dimensional. But always good practice to try it. <clears throat> <coughs> Edith Pink, I love that. I love that name, Edith. That's really a color. That's so fun. Oh, I hear my cat crying upstairs. Um, Oh, Edith. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm here, Bert. I gotcha. It should be called Edith Pink. That's so fun. Right? I know what you mean. You bought Edith the bird. And that was great pinks in there. There were too many pinks. How could I forget that? This is a tricky one. I have to think and have a sip of coffee. You look at her every day. I love that. I love that I have pieces of art that people have in their lives that they see every day. That It's like the coolest thing. So cool. Charvin makes a Julia's pink that I love. Oh. That 
that's a fun name too. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, so let's do a little bit more of that. I'm going to try and hold on to that glow. It's a little tricky to paint and try and keep something that you can go over pigment sticks with oil and then varnish the painting. Yes. Yeah, the pigment sticks, if it's the RNF pigment sticks, they are like oil paint in stick form. They do have a little bit of wax in them and they do take longer to dry. But then, yes, I just varnish them like I do, you know, my regular painting. Good morning, Dot. Yeah, it's hard because this has so many like in between colors that are all sort of in the same value. It's great practice to to try it. Sometimes when I do a painting, I know just where I'm headed with it, and other times I don't. It looks like one big flower right now, so I've got to differentiate. Like, these are more pinks, and this is up here. That's kind of more of a bluish white, um, or maybe just lighter. Let's see. I have to start to differentiate a little bit so I see what I'm doing. just like that. It is, it's a very complicated subject, but I still have a half an hour, so we should be good. I think I'll wait and do like the blues at the end. There's a little light pink up in there. Um, am I looking for? I need a little bit more of that color that I used. It was not, oh, it was raw umber. Um, I need a little bit of that. But I can't find it. What did I do with it? It was a Michael Harding color, wasn't it? I have a different raw umber, but I wanted to use the same one. How do I lose things? I try to organize my paints as, um, Oh, I, my color. Do you think that I can keep them like that? What kind of blossom did you say it was? It's a or, 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 oriental cherry. Is that what we decided it was? Um, sorry. Here I am thinking about finding the. What did I say it was? I need to work on my browns more, honestly. How I've gotten this far. Raw umber. Raw umber? I guess. Let's just put a little raw umber here on my use a different Japanese cherry. I definitely needed more raw umber. Yeah, it's set it's hard to simplify something that's got so much happening. Really have to think about simplification. Um, and values, like to think about it and look at it just as 
values, not so much about the thing. Like when you paint, you don't want to think about what the thing is you're painting. I'm not painting the Japanese cherry. I'm painting shapes. I'm just looking at it for shapes and colors and trying to simplify that. There are over a hundred species of them. Well, that explains why I find them in different colors too, because sometimes they're very white. And I love the little buds. When the buds are bright and the, the leaves are that chartreuse color, I think that's a new word I just made up, chartreuse. They're definitely chartreuse. I don't even know what that color. It's really not chartreuse. They're so pretty. Um, let me go back into my flowers again. Um, this is all all that lighter. There's something going on over there. I'll have to add to that. It's a dark green in there, and then also a little bit of pink. a little definition of that edge. Um, it's a little, I just love this center. I'm afraid I'm going to lose my bits of glow um, and I also see the littlest bit of yellow in here too I'm gonna do that it's gorgeous already you know I don't know about that but we're getting there um, Take my time. I always say that's what art teaches me about taking my time and not hurrying. Hurrying is never good when you're painting. Mm, there's some very lights in there. Think about my edges. That vibrant pink, pink showing is so pretty. And I don't want to do my lightest lights in there yet, so let me work on some edges here. Um, but I don't have to be literal about any of what's happening. I'm thinking right now, I'm thinking more about the values that are down here at the bottom. <clears throat> painting things. Okay. Now we have this. Mm. So I got, I see 
sometimes the pigment sticks will leave oh can you see that it left like a chunk on there that I have to get rid of not that it hurts to have it there but it would end up um taking a really long time to dry Now I'm going to come down around and try and finish up little bits of the edge down here and at the top. That'll give it a little bit more depth that I think I'm not seeing yet. Okay, sorry, I stopped talking. It's taking a lot of thinking. Love the glow in the leaves coming through. Yeah, me too. Me too. And I'm at that point too now where I have to be patient and... Um, not let myself kind of get lost in the weeds and start filling in too much stuff because I really want to kind of keep it fresh. What color is the blue that I use for the sky? Um, I think I used King's blue with a little bit of radiant blue. Is that what I used, guys? I think so. It's crazy how quickly I forget. I always want to keep an art notebook and write down like colors I use in a painting in case I want to replicate and or make something that kind of matches, but that's just such an organized concept for my brain to do. I think it's hard for me to even think about that. Because I do it, and then I'd have to stop. Whoops, that was a big mistake, wasn't it? I didn't even want that color. Let me clean that up. Whoops, sorry. Oh, I could use that for my highlights. I'm going to use a little clip for my highlights. That would be fun. When that, what time is it? 43. We're still okay on time. I like the pops of blue. Very happy. Oh, let's do this a little bit just for the fun of it, right? That'll help see what we're seeing. That didn't make any sense, did it? how much of a difference that makes just to pull those whites out there and I can put paint over top but I do love the look of this that's helping pull that forward there's like a glow of white in here too I could even do a couple dots of it as I finish my background. Okay. Now it's getting there. 40. Oh, I still have some time. It's starting to come together. 
I'm looking in the camera to see what what it looks like through the camera. It's a really good way of kind of seeing where you're headed. Oops, I'm dropping paint on the floor. I'll be looking for that if I don't pick it up right away. I remember you told us before that that on a clip was a little piece of rubber. Yes, like a scraper, like from like that you clean a windshield with or a window. Yeah. Do some little something fun in there still. Oh, I'm running out of paper towels. So pretty. It is extra hard to keep something that's so complicated, keeping it simple. Not that I'm keeping it simple, but I'm certainly trying to. Where do you purchase a clip like that? Oh, it's just a, a clip. It's just a clip like from Staples, but the little piece of rubber is from a scraper. You can just order extra. I think I have that in my Amazon shop too, the scraper itself. Do you feel like... These little bits of the lighter needs to be um, more yellow. No, I like it. I like how it looks, although it does look a little more yellow. No, I'm overthinking it. That's going to complicate it, and that's not what we're doing. Pinks are back here. Dots of pink. More blue, and then we'll work on the flowers. It's hard because it's so much of the same value. And just pops of, oh, I see what I need to do in here. Make that stand out just a little bit more. And I also have to pay attention a little bit to my um, white in there. Just a little bit. I don't even know what I was just going to say. I need to pay attention to something, but I don't know what. Forty-nine. Whoa, I ran out of paper towels. All right, I'm pretty happy with around the outside. Now I've got to go in and finish finish up the this bright stuff going on in here. Um, I want to clear up any bits of white that I don't want showing. I don't mind a little bit of my background color showing through, but I never want a lot of it. All right, I think I'm happy with that. All right, let's work on the flowers a little bit more.
you know, I'm truly trying to paint this and not sweat the details, but hold on to enough of the details that you know what it is. What type of brush? Oh, I'm using, this is one of my favorites. It's a Trakel Spectrum Bright 3000B. One of my very favorite brushes. This is a little brighter in here. I do wanna let the brights show. And then I'll do the lights at the very end. This is oil paint. I love the glow. All right, let me... Love those two little ones down there. They're fun too. Um, got a little bit of. Separate the light one from the dark one. Oh, it would make a gorgeous big painting. Yeah, it would. Especially since I'm trying to make more of those. It's a good idea. Now that light one at the top is still not... light enough. What do I have? 53. <laughs> I'll be right to the wire on this one. It's really a crazy concept to try and paint something in a certain amount of time. <clears throat> I'm getting good at it, though. Um, okay, what am I missing here? Uh, yeah, that's pulling that forward. <clears throat> Sorry. I didn't want too much glow up there because I love the glow down here. Um, now is it separating enough? Are you understanding the flower? I love that little bit of blue in there even though that's not true to what we're seeing but I'm just gonna soften it a little bit oh I need a paper towel 
55. I think we're going to soon have to call it a painting. Um, gosh, I'm just, well. Oops. I hope I'm running out of time. Um, but I think I'm happy with it. All right, let me sign it. You see anything I missed? Any glaring white spots? Whoops. I always have to keep my edges clean. I don't like this being too dominant right there. Um, needed a little definition. Now that was a little too much. That helps make that glow. Love the glow. All right, now, sorry, do you use oil? Yes, it's oil paint. Okay, I'm gonna stop because I am only changing it. I'm going to have to watch this again on YouTube. Yes, I will save this on my YouTube channel. So there's the image, and then there's my painting. It was complicated. It was hard to keep. Oh, and there's my palette that I paint, that I mixed. So yeah, I'm happy with it. It was challenging. That was hard. It's hard to take um, a very complicated subject and keep it simple. Um, thanks, guys. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I will save this on my YouTube channel and the link's in my bio here on Instagram or you can, you know, find it on my website. If you can't find that, it's at KimMyersSmith.com. And if you'd like to be on my newsletter mailing list, um, just message me your email and I'd be happy to add you. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me today, guys, and we'll do it again next Wednesday. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.